Here they are, the Gobi 2 and the Gobi 3. Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com and these are the actual Gobi devices. The really unique stake to claim for both of these is the ability to measure your caloric input and output, giving you a daily net value on whether your gaining weight or losing weight, depending on what your objective is, through bottom line calories taken in and calories burned. How it does that, we'll get to in a minute. But first, I just want to show you quickly the difference between the two. The Gobi 2 is a uh, basically a, a, a node. It's something that you wear to collect data. It has these uh, galvanic skin resistance plates on the back. They're electrical plates, and they're able to assess all kinds of things from signals it's getting from the skin based on your water that's in your body, all kinds of stuff. It'll also, both of them, measure hydration and let you know when you need to take a drink of water. And you know what? You actually should be taking water before you get thirsty. Mm -hmm. But you don't know until you're thirsty unless you are notified ahead of time. Really, really cool technology. Got a little charging dock, slaps onto the back of it. Both of them charge it about once a day, and there's an optimal time for doing that we'll tell you about in a moment. But uh, this one has a little display on it when you press the button, tells you the time, and can cycle through a bunch of things like your battery level, uh, your heart rate, um, if you need hydration, that kind of stuff. It's, uh, again, uh, not very sophisticated as a watch, but for a band, as a data collection node, it works great. The Gobi 3 now, on the other hand, is much more of an actual smart watch. You see it's got an always on screen, getting in the right reflection, you can see it, or tap and hold and it lights up the backlight. You get things like your uh, time of day, of course, and you can cycle through all kinds of stuff, including your hydration level, um, your last night's sleep time, and most importantly, I find your current instantaneous where you are in calories in versus calories out. And uh, that is very valuable to try to stay on the downside for Uncle Tix, who's trying to lose some weight. It comes with a charging wire that plugs in the back, and its technology is a bit different. It still has these plates on here that are used uh, very similarly to read things out of your body, but it also has these diodes in here which come in handy for heart rate and a few other things are called PPG. And this one, of course, you could actually wear as a smartwatch. It looks like a smartwatch with the always on screen. You can see the time really nice. Well, let's take it to the next level. Both of these devices, the Gobi 2 Band, the Gobi 3 Smartwatch, are from Heelby. And I got a special promotion going with the discount code MrTix10. Give you 10% off if you use this link. Okay, you can just type it in, bit.ly slash Heelby, all lowercase, and that'll get you over to where you need to go to start doing your research or put these things in your shopping cart. What we're going to look at today is also available if you use this link bit.ly slash go be compared. That takes you to the comparison sheet that uh, lets you look side by side at both of these. I'll flash that on the screen here in a little bit, but for really uh, deeper study, use that link to get over there. And of course, the bit.ly slash heel be is where you go to pick one of these puppies up and get your discount. So here we go. With this one, um, basically you have the capabilities to bring in a bunch of data. Now I'm going to pop this on. It comes through the slot here and then you grab it from below. I'll tell you some tricks of the trade. Pull it nice and tight. Find a hole that you line it up with and I slip my finger in to give it a good pinch so I'm not pushing against my body. That thing can dangle or you can put it away, whichever you'd like to do. You want it good and snug. That's a trick on these guys. They got to be good and snug. Not loose like a lot of watches, but if you want to get that continuous reading of your uh, caloric change, you need to have it nice and snug. This one... Uh, Similar, you want it tight, but it's got a nice, really stretchable TPU band. Uh, you can flip it around, 
This has got holes in it for exercising. I'm trying to do this all with one hand. Here we go. Get it inside here. Tighten it up. Again, want it nice and tight. This one's easier to over tighten. So if I go all the way to where it is really tight, um, that's a bit much. At night, I like it really tight. It's good for getting continuous data through the night because if you roll over and your body puts it like that, you may not be making contact and you'll have some gaps in your data. So nice and tight at night. I go a little bit looser during the day, maybe one more down, and but not enough that it's going to flap over and not have electrical contacts with the two plates. So there's what they look like on. Really sweet. Now, Let's talk about the calories quickly. When you eat food, that's going to bring in a certain amount of calories. And you can, oh, look at that. It's telling me that I'm not getting skin contact. No contact. So sometimes I'll wet myself a little bit. It's got to calibrate. So you, you don't want to do that often. You want to have a certain amount of uh, wetness, but not too much. Uh, you could trim your hairs a little bit if you're a hairy guy. You know, it doesn't have to be bald, but anyway, you want to get good skin contact. You eat your food, calories in. Some of the different ways of doing weight control is to monitor the exact quantities, weigh out your meat, your salad, everything, and get the calories of the food in. This doesn't do that. This could care less, both of them. You take in what you feel you need and want to eat, and as your body processes that through your digestive system, these devices measure the actual calories going into your bloodstream as sucrose, I believe, as the food is broken down, which in the balance between intercellular and extracellular water will change that uh, ratio. And the devices can pick up that difference and give feedback on actual number of calories digested into your body. That's a big difference between how much calor how many calories you took in just eating food. I mean, the two can work together, but what really matters is what your body handled and took in through your whole digestive tract. And that is the figure that you get for your input calories. You'll see all this in the review videos. Go to our uh, website, smartwatchticks.com. Look for the little magnifying glass and put in Healby, H-E-A-L-B-E. You'll get a list of all kinds of videos related to this product and watch the full reviews of the Gobi 2 and the Gobi 3. You'll see all of these details. You have a, a basal metabolism. That's what works with you no matter what, and even while you're sleeping. And that's a certain amount of calories burned automatically. That's why you have a warm temperature and you're not like um, an amphibian and the same temperature is outside. That basal metabolism is burning your internal calories. And then you have that little bit that's additional that are the calories burned for you exercising and living life and doing things, sweating, moving, whatever. And you add the basal metabolism and that metabolism, and that's the negative. That's how much you're, you're burning. And basic science, rocket science for the human body is calories in minus calories out gives you a net result. If it's bigger than zero, you're going to have to store that extra stuff in your body, usually as fat cells. And if it's negative or below that, it's going to be taking what it needs to meet that zero from your body and help to burn off fat and whatnot. And combined with exercise helps you lose weight. So whether you want to gain weight or lose weight, these devices can give you the basic information that you need to know how well you're doing. All right. With that said, how accurate are they? pretty good actually you'll find over at their website there's this whole blog thing where they've got a couple of different validation experiences that they've done one with the university of california davis this is a synopsis that you can read either by freezing your youtube right now or go to their website and read it right there and they also have one from china the red cross hospital over there that uh was used as a study to determine two factors about the calorie input output and about hydration and the good news is in both cases yeah they validated that these devices can indeed get that data and report it to you now 
Is it 100% accuracy? Did you take in 347 calories for breakfast? I don't know, and I'm not saying it is or it isn't, but what I will say is it gives me personally a hint, a guideline. If it's 80% accurate, if it's 60% accurate, if it's getting close to showing me that I'm taking in more calories than I'm putting out, it tells me I need to adjust what I'm doing for that day to meet my goal. And that's I'll say it's accurate enough for me. I'm not going to get into the game of is it 100% accurate on what it's doing because I don't really care. What personally I care, is it accurate enough to meet my goals? And check the tests out. They give you some background information on on it and I take it from there. For what I've experienced and the time I've used this, and again, if you watch the reviews and look at the data on the apps, which are incredible, you'll see how close it can monitor what you're what you're eating in fact in fact it has a beta thing going on now where it can even not just measure your calories but can tell you the breakdown of those calories in protein carbohydrate and fat percentages and on the charts you can see a carbohydrate thing goes way up real fast and way down as you burn it fast and fat might be a few hours and makes kind of a bell curve on the chart which is why honestly you don't even look at your results for doing anything until the next day. The next day you can see, uh uh-oh, yesterday turkey dinner sitting around at a house with friends. Uh, I I didn't burn very many calories and I'm way over. So today I diet or whatever. You know, whatever works for you, it's a feedback mechanism for you. Still with me? Great. All right. Then that means you probably want more of the technical details. You got the philosophy. You got the concept of how it works. And here they are. Here are the two different units. And it, they're so similar. What, what you see in the app is basically identical between the two. What they're picking up and what they're sending over. They're just doing it in different ways. And they look and smell and feel different, right? So your essentials, it tracks all the essential body parameters to keep you well-toned and live a healthy life. Eight in one wearable, giving you the ability to see and store important data in one place so you don't have to use multiple software and apps. And I'm going to save you money in the long run. Monitors the body facets to uh, maximize your results uh, and get your dream body shape if that's your goal. Comfort, uh, they're easy to wear and easy to work with. You'll even find in the reviews that Uncle Tix tried strapping them on in a few different places, and they even work there. Don't go there. Um, design is well impressed anybody, and it's stylish design and all of that kind of stuff. We've got the touch screen on this one. We've got a button on that one and a hidden display. Um, body uh, shape correction. I'm just going to leave this up here for you to see. Again, all of this is on the website. That's a little bit more information. And then you get into the technical specs of the two. And since this is kind of the comparison, introductory, and summary video, some of you are seeing this after if you watch both reviews on these. This is, uh, this is basically the, the actual physical differences between the two. The sensors, the materials they're made from, all of that. Now, in the sensors, I want you to notice that you've got this impedance uh, sensor in both of them, that uh, and the nine axis accelerometer, all of these things, gyroscopes, magna, magna, yeah, the magnet, that thing. And, and here you've got the piezo, pie, oh, I wish I knew these words, piezoelectric sensor. And here you got the optical pulse sensor. So that's the one difference is how you're measuring things like heart rate. Uh, and there's this galvan, galvanic skin response sensor built in with the impedance. And it's really cool technology. They both do things differently. Battery wise, uh, it's not really talking about that here, but uh, definitely you're going to want to charge it every day. And I mentioned earlier in the video, I tell you about that. Think about this. When you're sleeping and you're going through the whole night and whatever you ate is working its way through and digesting and you're getting some, you know, calories burned and, and, and a little bit of exercise when you roll over, I guess, whatever. When you get up in the morning, you're kind of at your resting level, right? Your heart rate is at its lowest level and you haven't seized the day yet, but you're going to get up and shower and get ready for work. That's the time to put these things in charge. Charge them, 
take them off your wrist, charge them up, and then put them back on before you have breakfast or coffee or whatever you're going to take into your body to start kicking in your digestive system. You want to capture that. You want to make sure you've got this back on your arm by then. So if you're serious about working with this, either one that you get, you're going to want it on 23 hours out of the day, all night. Yep, you're going to sleep with it. you got to get that data. And so take it off to shower in the morning, put it back on 10, 15 minutes if you can before you start eating or drinking or driving or running or whatever activity you're going to be doing so you can really get an honest estimate of your calories in, calories out, hydration level, calibration, everything all at once. Okay, got that? Good. Bottom line time, because I know you guys have got things to do. These devices are based on a trademark flow technology, and that is the baseline by which they are assessing your caloric intake. It takes about one to two hours for chewing and swallowing uh, calories to show up, three to four hours food in the digestive fluids, four to eight hours total the digestive process, and five to nine hours, sometimes even more than 24 hours, the food is delivered to the absorption area and enters the blood. And it's then, it's then that this device is actually measuring it being part of you. Not what you took in, but what your body absorbed into it, into you. And so therefore, what you're measuring in terms of caloric input in particular will show up the next day. Look at the results in the app for the day before. You can monitor it throughout the day, but if, especially if you eat something really heavy in meat or whatnot, you're going to see the actual results the next day and adjust yourself accordingly today based on yesterday Work against a particular goal that you've got. I don't know about you, but if you've been on the COVID diet last year, which a lot of us have been, sedentary, sitting at home, binge eating, comfort foods, depressed, worried, now is now is a new new day. Hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> this is coming out, you know, mid twenty twenty one, and new day means now we can start working off what it took a year to put on. Doesn't have to be done overnight. Just get negative calories down. I don't know, five hundred deficit, a thousand deficit per day, roughly, and over time, weeks, months, regain. That figure that you had 2019, if that's your goal. Other folks, you need to bump up to bring my body up. You need to add uh, add bulk, and you can bulk up and monitor this, uh, of course, with these devices. If this concept makes sense to you, if monitoring your calories, your actual calories in your body makes sense to you, the Gobi 2, Gobi 3, choose which one you like. You've seen what they look like briefly here. You can come over and watch the full detailed reviews. And be sure, if you can, to use bit.ly slash healby and use uh, our discount coupon, Mr. Tix. Uh, 10 for a 10% discount and pick one of them up. Give it a try. It's, it's really interesting technology. And so far, it's been working really well for me. I'm definitely going to keep it strapped on. By the way, I'm using this one on my right arm or I could use this one. I'm right-handed, but I want to plan on keeping this on this arm. Free this puppy up, this arm here, that I can wear uh, a fitness band if I want to, like really detailed with GPS in it to monitor my track or, or a fitness uh, uh, health kind of a band, whatever I want. I got this arm available for that, but this will always have my Gobi on it. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.